Hi, here is a roulette strategy I am going to explain. I will use an extra personal touch, as an extra wild card chance, to improve the possibilities of winning. How? I will just use, what I call as a rationally potential mathematic theory. It is a theory, but also a mathematic scheme I will use to boost the game chances on my side. Let's start the explication. First of all, I will use an European roulette with a single zero, and not an American roulette with a zero, and the double zero, as it will reduce my chances of winnings. As a European roulette has 37 numbers total, from 0 to 36. And the American roulette has 38 numbers total, from 0 to 36, plus the double zero. This changed the odds for even pays betting such as the red black, even odds, 1 to 18 and 19 to 36. And for other bettings as well, as there is an extra number on the American roulette. On this roulette strategy, I will bet on, the red or black, and, the 1 to 18 or 19 to 36. Plus I will add a rational mathematic theory to push the game odds on my side. On the strategy I am going to show you, if you represent it as a graphic on a timeline with a $100 value as a line scale, you will see that the graph fluctuation are very low. And stay across the $100 line scale. Going like on small wins, small losses, small wins, small losses, small wins and so on for a long time scale. As this is a low risk for a long time betting strategy. Then I will use the, rational mathematic theory to push the odds on my side. How? Let's figure out the rational mathematic theory. If you divide a roulette table in three dozen. And if the ball spin on the number 32, in theory the number 32 will not get hit by the next spin ball. Of course, it is in theory, as the number 32 can show again, and for consecutive spins on roulette game. But usually, and as a potential mathematic theory, the number 32 will not get hit by the spin ball again. Just think logic. In a bag containing 36 different numbers from 1 to 36. Close your eyes and pick a ball, then put it back on the bag. Shuffle and pick another ball again. Do you think you will pick the same ball with the same number on the bag? Probably not, and it is mathematic. You will have one chance on 36 to pick the same ball. So this rule can apply for the roulette game. And for the number 32 spent, now if we apply this potential of mathematic theory, you can remove the number from the table. And now from the betting on 1 to 18, and 19 to 36, let's say that, the 19 to 36 is missing the number 32. So you will have like 18 numbers on one side of the roulette table. Currently for the 1 to 18, and 17 number for the 19 to 36 bets. And now in theory, you have like over 5% chances more chances to win on the 1 to 18, than from the 19 to 36. So on the strategy I am going to show you, I will play the 1 to 18, and 19 to 36. Plus I will add color bets on the red or black. I will use color bets for winnings, but also as bet covering, like I will explain to you later on this video. Now if we look back at the graphic with the $100 timeline, as I will get some sequences of small winnings and small losses, I will wait to be on the small winnings graphic. And then stop to play with what I have won. On this video, I will start with $100 as an initial cash balance, and I will end up with a $150 cash balance, making $50 profit. Of course roulette spins random numbers. So the basic graphic with the win and loss timeline can go sometimes on the player's advantage, on on the casino's advantage. Like here on this graphic. If I get a very lucky series of West spin, I will go over the standard winnings fluctuation and win a good amount, and if, as opposite the wheel spins for the casino's advantage on consecutive spins, then I will go below the standard losing fluctuations represented on this graph. But this is rare. And unfortunately it has happened to me on this video, I got a serious bad luck quest spins and my cash balance went just below $50. But with this strategy and the usual plain graphic I have represented, even with just $50 on a cash balance, I still can do many more wheel spins, 
and I have reached then the positive winning sequence shown on the graph. And after a serion unlucky spins, I have got some lucky ones which have increased my cash balance to $150. I am just trying to explain to you how mathematic, rational logic and theory can together goes on the player's advantage, helping the player to keep the win and loss graphic close to the $100 timeline, and not going slowly with a dropping graphic. Now let's start the strategy, my goal is to stop playing when I reach the winning graph. I will carry on with the same strategy if I am on a loosing graph. I will start with $100, and I will look for a small winning of $40 or over. I will play even betting, with the 1 to 18, and 19 to 36, as they pay even, 1 for 1. I will use the red and black color as well. So in this roulette strategy, I will play two bets of $5 each, on the two mentioned even betting, the red or black and the 1 to 18, or 19 to 36. I will look the spend number displays to determine which color I will play, usually the opposite than the one or last ones shown. I will play on fast play mode for making this video. For betting on the 1 to 18, or 19 to 36. I will look at the display showing the last spend number, and play on the opposite even betting. As example here, the display show the number 36. So I will not play the even betting on the 19 to 36. But on the 1 to 18. And for the colors, as two red are shown on the last two spins, I will bet on the black. Let's spin. Here I am even, no win, no loss. Now as the last number spend is the 31 black, I will play 1 to 18 and the red color as the previous spins display is showing many black color numbers. Here I won $10. My total bets are 10, and I got paid 20. Now as the last spins number is the 7 red, I will play the 19 to 36 betting, and not the 1 to 18. And for the color, I play the opposite than the last one shown. So the strategy is to place in the roulette table 2 bets of $5 each on even paying bets, like here, 1 to 1. For the range of numbers between 1 to 18, and 19 to 36 betting, I always play where the last spend number is not. This is like a mathematic theory. As in theory, when one number get is by the spin ball, it has then less chances than 50% of showing again. Of course, it is in theory, but it is more like a mathematic theory, than a simple theory. And for the colors, I play the opposite one than the last one shown, of if there's this area of same color, I play then the opposite color. It is more difficult to determine which color to play, than for the 1 to 18 and 19 to 36 betting. Playing colors is also like at the feeling of the moment. But by looking at the last spinned numbers displayed, you can choose to play the opposite color than the last one. Or last seri shown. This is also like a mathematic theory. As in theory, if the last spend number is shown on the display contain as a total of 75% red color and 25% black color. Then the black color has more chances to be shown on the next spin. Of course, it is in theory. One color can be shown 10, 20 or more times on consecutive spins. But basically and rationally, it should work usually like that. And what is good in this strategy, is that from your two bets of $5 each, one is usually covering the other in case of loss. As example if you lose the color but win the 18 numbers betting, you are even. No win and no loss. When winning, you win $10, and when losing, you lose $20. But adding a little bit of mathematic theory like explained before on such system, is like acting on a strategy way. Of course spend numbers are random, but at my own opinion, on a long term of playing, and logically. Such mathematic theory can go on the player's way. Of course, I repeat myself, in theory. But by playing roulette with this strategy, it is a low risk betting, where the player can spend lots of time on the roulette table with an initial cash balance of $100. And getting some small wins, and small losses in case of bad luck. The goal of this betting strategy is not to win a high amount, but to get a correct small winning. For me, 
If I play on a casino $100 and ends up with $150, it is okay, I have made $50 profit. I just spent a good time in the casino, and did not lose money. This example is for an initial cash balance of $100 and plain $5 a bet. Like I am doing here on this video. I am a small player myself. But some players can apply this strategy with a $1,000 as initial cash balance, and play $50 a bet. Myself, I prefer playing at low risk, with small winnings, but small losses in case of unlucky spins. And by playing with a roulette strategy like this one showed here. If you represent it as a graphic on a timeline with a $100 value as a line scale, you will see that the graph fluctuation are very low and stay across the $100 line scale. Going like on small wins, small losses, small wins, small losses, small wins and so on for a long time scale. As this is a low risk for a long time betting strategy. Remember to play this betting strategy only on European roulette which has a single zero. And not on an American roulette, which has zero, and a double zero. Changing then the odds, as example for the red black from 48.6% to 47.37%. When playing such strategy, the number zero is like the worst enemy, as it takes you bets every time it get hits by the spin ball. So playing on American roulette with a zero, and double zero, is like having one more enemy in the roulette wheel. Right now my cash balance has dropped from $100 to $85. I am currently on $15 loss due to unlucky spins, but it's still a long time now I am playing on this roulette table. So now, as a mathematic theory, after getting a series of unlucky spins, I may get some lucky ones. I hope so. Let's continue to play with this strategy and see. My goal is to win over $40 with my $100 initial cash balance. If I manage to reach over $140, I will stop playing. It will be the end of the strategy for myself trying to get some winnings from a roulette table. As I told you in my previous videos, I am an ex-casino employee and I worked many years on the gambling industry. Table and card games, slot machines technician and management, online casinos management and different gaming systems. So I know the roulette game, and I know that there is no way to beat a roulette table with 100% guarantee. It is not possible as it is mathematic. But there are few betting strategies that can be applied to a roulette game. Like the one I am showing to you on my channel's videos. Be aware of supposed winning strategies such as colors bet doubling, like the martingale strategy, which can be dangerous and can ends up with high losses for small winnings. You can watch my video about the martingale strategy, a video where I am clearly explaining with graphics and tables charts. How it is dangerous for the player, as he can ends up with very high losses, for just some small winnings. I prefer myself to go on low risk and low wins betting systems, than risky ones for potential high winnings. Or high risks for low winnings like on the martingale strategy. Now my cash balance is just below $100, I will look for some lucky spins. What I do is I just carry on playing this strategy. I will play even pays betting, with the 1 to 18, and 19 to 36, as they pay even, 1 for 1. And I will use the red and black color as well. So in this roulette strategy, I will play two bets of $5 each, on the two mentioned even betting, 1 to 18, or 19 to 36. And the colors, red or black. I will look the spend number displays to determinate which color I will play usually the opposite than the one or last one shown if the same color occur for a series of spins. Note that in this strategy, with my $100 initial cash balance, I will not try to win $200 or $300. As at my own opinion, I have to consider the graphic example I explained before on this video. The graphic representing a timeline with a $100 value as a line scale, and the fluctuations plus and minus from the winnings and losses. And as this graph stay usually around the $100 timeline, if we represent it on a paper. I will not try to push further for getting winnings from this strategy. 
Of course it is possible to get 200 or 300 winnings by using this betting strategy. But myself I prefer, based on my own experience, to refer to some logic mathematic theory, and stay with my small winnings goal. Now my cash balance is still just below $100, it seems like I did not get a good series of lucky spins. But this is what I am waiting for, a series of lucky spins. Based on the potential of logic mathematic theory, and the graphics I can represent on a paper for this strategy. My goal is to stop playing when I will be on a lucky graph sequence. But currently, I am on an unlucky graph frequency and having some small losses. What did I say just now, I said that I am on an unlucky graph frequency. And now I am thinking that the logic mathematic theory, as now in theory, after a series of unlucky spins. I have the probabilities of getting a series of lucky spins and some winnings. Of course, it is just a theory. But myself as an ex-casino employee, I will say that now the logic mathematic theory may apply and enter in action for my advantage. I am just pushing on this strategy, even if it takes long time. I will not surrender. If, unfortunately I lose all my $100 I had on my cash balance when starting this game. I will not play more. That is my rules when I am playing on casinos. But based on the odds for this betting strategy, I have low chances of ending up with a total loss, and I will wait for the, as I told you before. The series of lucky winning spins. So let's carry on the game. I am on the same strategy. I do not change anything, no bets doubling, no extra betting, no betting amount variations and it should be okay. I hope so. Note that roulette games can be very strange sometimes. Myself I spent so many times in front of a roulette table and its spinned numbers display when I was working on casinos. And I have seen sometimes some very strange spinning sequences in players parties. I saw the same color displayed more than 25 times. I saw the same number getting hit by the spinning ball for 20 times. I saw the zero as well being hit for an impressive series of spins, changing all table players' faces with big eyes and a surprised attitude. I saw some players winning a lot and then losing a lot in minutes. At my own opinion and experience, roulette is random and keeps few odds advantage for the casino. But depends of the bets placed on the roulette table and the pain table for each different winning, the range of odds that are mathematically for the casino can vary and the player may find some ways to get few advantages from this game. This is what I am trying to do, to take advantage from the roulette table by considering the rationally potential mathematic theory I represented on a graph. Now have one more look to the graphic representing the rationally potential mathematic theory, and now I am on the bad sequence. What I will do, and it will take advantage from a good sequence, and reach a winning amount over $40 and then stop. It is not guaranteed that I will win, I may end up with a total loss, or play more hours without winnings by using this strategy. But as I told you, no secret. As an ex-casino employee, myself I place my potential of luck with the, rationally potential mathematic theory. Ok, now for this video example, I will play over 10 more minutes and then get some winnings over $40. From now. It took over 10 more minutes on this roulette game to reach a sequence of lucky winning spins. This system is based on my own experience when I worked on casinos, and as there is no way to beat a roulette table, let's place my luck with the rationally potential mathematic theory. I will put some music for the next plus 10 minutes on this video, and see you at the winnings session. Okay. Now let's go to try to pick a rational mathematic theory graphic advantage.
Yep, I am back. Played for a moment, and got again some series of unlucky spins. I was worried as my cash balance dropped below $50, but I carried on the same strategy, and even with $50 remaining, I still can do lots of ball spin. And as I was waiting for a what I am calling a rationally potential mathematic theory, the graph, as an advantage to come for a series of spins. It seems like it has happened. After a series of unlucky losing spins. I was thinking at the potential of rational mathematic theory, and then waiting for a series of lucky winning spins. And it has happened at this time on this roulette game. I will not continue to play, for me it is enough, and I will not go further on the game trying to get some more winnings. Maybe I can win more, but I will stop playing. I had an advantage, and I keep it. Now I have a $150 cash balance, I won $50 and that was my goal. Of course, roulette is a random ball spins game, and this strategy does not mean that you will win every time, but why not using our brain and common sense to start a roulette game with one goal? Like mine, to reach over $40 minimum wins. Hey. The strategy I have explained here is not a 100% winning system, as it does not exist on a roulette, but just a simple strategy using the same betting system for every wheel spins, with numbers and colors observation. Then I just had the rationally potential mathematic theory. That was one of my roulette strategy, playing at low risk for small wins and small losses represented as a graph on my mind, and trying to take advantage from it by playing red and black colors. Plus the 1 to 18 then 19 to 36 bets paying the same than colors bet, 1 for 1. I just added my personal touch, the rationally potential mathematic theory that can apply if we represent the winnings and losses from this strategy on a graphic. Let's have another quick look to the graphics. These graphics I represented are just based on mathematic potential rational theory I apply to casino games based on my own experience and knowledge on gaming. The goal with logic mathematic potential theory graphics is to take a little bit more odds chances for the player, and to push the graphic up as much as possible on the winning area. I hope you have appreciated my explications. Thanks for watching.